Good morning. It's good to be with you today. So I'm wondering today if you could spend a minute thinking about um, something you have had to learn how to do. Maybe it was something that you chose. Maybe you wanted to take up a new hobby. You wanted to learn a new skill and so you made the decision to learn something new. Or maybe your hand was sort of forced into learning something new. Maybe your job required that you learn a new skill. Or maybe this pandemic has stretched you to have to learn a new skill and utilize Zoom and other technology that you hadn't ever had to use before. So think about something you've had to do that was new and different. Well, I'm also wondering how many times you've walked into the sanctuary on Sunday morning for worship and you've looked at the bulletin and you've thought, I don't recognize that hymn. I don't know that song. And then sure enough, when the, the piano is played or the organ is played, you think, nope, I don't know that tune either. And that song that is so new to you takes a little time to become familiar. And sometimes it's finally by the last verse that we think, okay, I think I've caught on. I think I can sing a little bit. Well, this morning, we're going to talk about that something new. The Israelites had been in captivity in Egypt for years. God called Moses to call the Israelites out of Egypt to go to the promised land. And, uh, and we've learned, we talked yesterday, Hale talked about the Passover event. And so the Israelites are in this transition time. They have spent years being in anguish, being enslaved, and um, singing songs of lament and saying, God, where are you? God, save us. And all of a sudden now, Moses appears, things are changing. The Passover event has happened and we're going to see as we continue talking in the next few weeks about the exodus out of Egypt, but they can finally see something is happening. God is moving and God gives them a new song to sing. Psalm 149 is our lectionary text for today, and it is a psalm of praise. God calls the Israelites to something new. It's exciting. It's refreshing. It's totally different for them. They have been, uh, as I said, in slavery for so long that suddenly their hearts have reason to sing a song of joy and praise. Well, I'm wondering for you right now in your own life, what are you going through? What kind of transition? What kind of new experiences might you have in your life? And how can you within that experience learn to sing a new song? Learn to sing a song of joy and praise with whatever it is that you are going through. Well, God is so good. We don't always see the end of the picture. We don't always know what's coming next, but we do know that we can praise God with a joyful song, no matter what it is. I do hope you have a great day today.